So this video introduces one side of derivatives. Uh, if we have a function y equals f of x, then we know the derivative is f prime of x equals the limit as h goes to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. So just like we have one-sided limits, we can have one-sided derivatives. Uh, pretty much because the derivative is a limit. Okay, it's just a special kind of limit. Um, but if we remember the definition for left and right-hand limits, then uh, the definitions for left and right-hand derivatives follow pretty directly from that. So if we want a left derivative, that's going to be f primed, and then in the subscript here, we'll have a minus sign, okay, to indicate it's a left derivative. Uh, the limit is from the negative direction. So f primed uh, subscript minus sign of x equals the limit as h approaches zero from the left. So remember this notation for one side of limits. Uh, this is the limit as h approaches zero from the left, from the negative direction. Um, and then this part's actually still the same. The difference quotient is the same. f of x plus h minus f of x, uh, all divided by h. All right, so that's a left-hand derivative. Um, a right-hand derivative will come as no surprise. It'll be f primed, and then in the subscript there's a plus sign of x equals uh, limit as h approaches zero from the right, from the positive direction of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. So again, the difference quotient is the same. So here's a left derivative, and here's a right derivative.